I just thought it'd be great for uh, people to see uh, the, the loving and merciful face of the Catholic Church. I think it's something that we don't see an awful lot of in our society, especially through the media. So I think it's important for MSPs and their staff to come in to the Mercy Bus to see the Mercy Bus. And of course, we've see, we see how people have responded to it. Um, it's been absolutely fabulous. Well, I'm hosting the bus here at Parliament. Every, every visitor to Parliament has to have a parliamentary host. And I was really pleased um, uh, when uh, Anthony Horan asked me to do this. Um, I think it's a great idea. I, I've long felt it is good for the church to be out and about. Um, and these days you have to be where people are. Um, we know that fewer folk are actually turning up to church. Um, so this is a way of actually taking church to people uh, in, their, uh, in uh, their own communities, or in this case, um, in their workplace. Well, so my name is Donald Cameron. I'm an MSP for the Highlands and Islands, but I'm a practicing Catholic, and I was very keen to come and um, firstly to find out all about the Mercy Bus and what it does, and it's been a great experience. I'm out to welcome the Mercy Bus for coming to Parliament for the first time. I did actually visit the Mercy Bus when it was in Cope Bridge last year and I think it's fantastic that not only have we this year had the first ever Mass celebrated in Parliament but now we've got the first visit of the, the Mercy Bus and I hope it's not the last. I am overwhelmed by the attitude of the MSPs. They are so welcoming. We have people from Labour, Conservative, SNP, Liberal. I have spoken to all of them and they're so interested in the work that we're doing. And they said, I can't believe that you've brought the bus here for us. And I've just been invited back by Anthony for next year. So we had a woman who was on the bus and she's been away from her faith for a, a long, long time. She was brought up in a, a mixed religion, so Catholic and Protestant family. Um, but she said this was just kind of the wee push that she needed, you know, so our, our friend, one of our best pals, is actually a Catholic. Um, um, so she's going to go with her along to Mass and she's going to try her best to connect to God and connect to the loved ones that's been lost for a while because she feels lonely. But she, she left here and she felt so uplifted, so happy. So we've done the job. I've already seen a number of MSPs coming out the door and there'll be parliamentary staff here as well, uh, which I think is great. So I know this is an initiative that began in a particular part of the west of Scotland um, and the intention is to roll it out across the whole of Scotland. So I kind of look forward to welcoming it in, uh, in parts or two uh, as, well as, uh, as well as in Edinburgh. Well, I think it's important to try and raise its profile amongst you know communities across Scotland. And I represent a very rural area, and I was trying to find out if there's any hope of getting the Mercy Bus up to the Highlands and Islands. But um, I think, firstly, it's it's just important to raise its profile and make sure that people know about it. You know, whether pe all people of all faith, uh, um, and there's a very clear message that it's an ecumenical endeavour, and that it's important to to try and just make sure people know about it, make sure what it does, um, how it. And I think it's a great idea. Offers people a cup of tea, a chat. Um, I'm about to go and have confession, so um, uh, you know, I'm great. It's just great to welcome the Mercy Bus to the Scottish Parliament, and you know, I wish it every success. I think um, it's, it's obviously engaged members of Parliament. It shows that the church is not just confined to buildings in Scotland, it, um, and they. It, they can hear the explanation of how it's going out into communities to take the message of Christ and Christ's mercy out to our communities rather than um, hoping that people will come into churches. And I just think that's a fantastic initiative. It's so good that people can, in their own communities, just take their own time to come and have a chat. There's no pressure. Um, and also that confessions are given as well if people want to take confession then that's great as well that it's out there in the community. Some people could be quite nervous particularly after some time of not going to church of actually going back into a church so to have the bus in communities is just such a brilliant um, thing for the, for the church and the volunteers that are doing it to be doing. How could you fail to uh, respond to love itself um, so it's just a wonderful thing and I think that uh, that um, we are, it was just really, I wanted to try and show people the loving, merciful face of the church, a church that uh, works for the common good, for human dignity, and it is here to serve the community.